Ever wondered how to get Fortnite running at max FPS, even on a slow or old PC? In this video, I'll show you exactly how to unlock potato graphics for Nvidia, AMD, and Intel, so you can get smooth gameplay fix ground glitches and remove annoying lag. Follow each step carefully, and by the end, your Fortnite will feel faster than ever. So, let's jump right in. Step 1. Turn off Windows Power Throttling to make Fortnite run faster. To make your PC run faster, especially if it's a slow or budget machine, you need to turn off something called Power Throttling. Here's how to do it. Press the Windows key and R at the same time. A small box called Run will appear. In the box, type gpedit.msc and press Enter. This will open a tool called Local Group Policy Editor, which lets you change advanced system settings. On the left side of the window, go to Computer Configuration, Administrative Templates, System. Scroll down and find the folder named Power Management and click on it. On the right side, look for a setting called Power Throttling Settings and double-click it. A new window will open. Inside, find the option called Turn Off Power Throttling. Click it, and another small window will pop up. Select the option Enabled. This turns off the throttling feature so your CPU can always run at its top speed. This works for both Windows 10 and Windows 11. Once you choose Enabled, click Apply and then OK. Close the Group Policy Editor. Now your PC can use full CPU power, which will help Fortnite run more smoothly without sudden slowdowns. This is especially important for low-end PCs because it removes a major performance limit. Gear Up Booster is a best tool to reduce your ping while playing games. It works with both wired and wireless connections. Download it for free from my description and enjoy smoother gameplay with lower ping. Step 2. Make Fortnite a priority so it runs smoother. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. In this step, you'll make Fortnite use more of your CPU's attention by changing its priority level. This helps the game run more smoothly and reduces lag or stuttering. First, open the folder named Fortnite Priority Manager. Inside, you'll see three files. Fortnite Normal Priority, Fortnite Medium Priority, Fortnite High Priority. These are for different types of computers. If you have a low-end or slow PC, double-click Fortnite Normal Priority. If you have a mid-range PC, double-click Fortnite Medium Priority. If you have a high-end PC, double-click Fortnite High Priority. After double-clicking, a pop-up will appear asking if you want to allow changes to your device. Click Yes. This will change your Windows registry, so Fortnite will always run at the priority you selected. It automatically applies every time you start the game. By doing this, your computer knows Fortnite should get more CPU attention compared to other apps. This means less lag, better frame rates, and smoother gameplay, especially during intense moments in the game. Step 3. Make sure Fortnite uses all your CPU cores. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. Your CPU has multiple cores, or processors, but Windows sometimes doesn't use all of them, especially on low-end PCs. This can slow games down. We'll fix that using a free tool called Park Control. Download and install Park Control. Once it's installed, open the app. In Park Control, select the power plan called Bitsum Highest Performance. This keeps your CPU running at full speed while gaming. Now set these options. Parking AC equals disabled parking DC equals disabled frequency scaling AC equals 100% frequency scaling DC equals 100%. These settings stop Windows from turning off CPU cores to save power, which keeps performance high. Next, turn on Bitsum Dynamic Boost. This allows your CPU to save power when idle, but instantly switch to full power when gaming. Finally, go to your Windows Power Options and set Bitsum Highest Performance as the active power plan. Click Make Active and then Apply. Now Fortnite will be able to use all your CPU's power, giving you higher FPS and less stutter. Step 4. Potato Graphics Settings for Better Fortnite Performance NVIDIA or AMD You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. Now we'll improve Fortnite graphics and performance by changing settings based on your graphics card type. If you use NVIDIA, open the folder named NVIDIA Potato Graphics. Inside, there are two files, Fortnite Optimized Settings and NVIDIA Profile. Inspector, double-click NVIDIA Profile Inspector and click Yes when asked for permission. At the top of the app, type Fortnite in the search bar and select the Fortnite Profile. Click Import, then open the Fortnite Optimized Settings file from the NVIDIA Potato Graphics folder. Click Open, then click Apply Changes in Profile Inspector. If you ever want to go back, click Restore Current Profile to NVIDIA Default. Close the tool. If you use AMD or Intel, go to the AMD Potato Graphics folder. Right-click the file GameUserSettings.ini and click Copy. 
press Windows plus R, type percent local app data percent, and press Enter. Go to Fortnite game, saved config Windows client, and paste the copied file there. Click yes to replace the file. This removes extra effects like grass and shadows, lowering input delay and improving performance. These changes make Fortnite run faster by lowering unnecessary graphics that don't help gameplay, letting your PC focus on speed instead of fancy visuals. In this step, I'm going to show you the best tool to get stable ping while gaming. So first, download the Gear Up Booster tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Fortnite. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game. It will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the Middle East server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now go to the End tab where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let GearUp automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to automatic for the best results. Finally close the window and launch your game using GearUp Booster. This will help you optimize Fortnite or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. Step 5. Use MSI Utility to reduce lag in Fortnite. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. Now we'll use a tool called MSI Utility to make your hardware work more efficiently, reducing lag and input delay. Open it, and you'll see a list of all the hardware in your PC. Find your graphics card, like NVIDIA or AMD, in the list. In its row, check the box under the MSI column, then set Interrupt Priority to High. If you have an integrated GPU, like Intel UHD Graphics, check its MSI box too and set its priority to High. Once done, click Apply and close the tool. This change makes your GPU respond to game tasks faster which means less delay between your actions and what happens in the game. Step 6. Turn off extra Windows services to boost Fortnite FPS. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. We'll now use a tool called Chris Titus Tech Utility to turn off unnecessary Windows processes that slow down your PC. Open the FPS Boost Pack folder and find the text file inside. Copy the code written in it. Open the Windows search bar, type PowerShell, right-click it, and choose Run as Administrator. Paste the code into PowerShell and press Enter. The Chris Titus Tech Utility will open. Go to the Tweaks tab. You'll see three performance options. Minimal turns off only a few background tasks. Standard turns off more for better performance. The tool will automatically create a system restore point before making changes. Choose your option and click Run Tweaks. Close the utility when done. This frees up CPU and RAM, helping Fortnite run smoother with fewer FPS drops. Step 7. Make your keyboard respond faster in Fortnite. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. In this step, we'll make your keyboard react quicker so your actions happen instantly in-game. Open the tool, filter keys, setter. Set ignore under to 0 ms, repeat delay to 130 ms, and repeat rate to 10 ms. Check the small box to activate the settings and click OK to save. These settings remove unnecessary delays between pressing a key and Fortnite recognizing it, which improves reaction time and makes controls feel more responsive. Step 8. Use Game Mode and High Performance Graphics Settings The last step is to make sure Windows focuses completely on Fortnite and gives it the most graphics power. Open Windows Settings and search for Game Mode. Turn it on so your PC focuses on the game instead of background apps. Then search for Graphics Settings. Click Browse and find your Fortnite Season 3 folder. Select the file Fortnite Client Win64 Shipping. XE and add it. Click it in the list, choose options, select high performance, and click save. This tells your PC to use your main GPU at full power for Fortnite, boosting FPS and keeping gameplay smooth. If you follow all these steps exactly, Fortnite will run much better even on older or low-end hardware. You'll see higher FPS, fewer stutters, and more responsive controls. Restart your PC after completing the steps to make sure every change is applied.